It's Roman Griffin time. It is a work done. Roman Griffin here uh, from the Roman Review with a, a review of Into the Fire by Suzanne Brockman. Um, I was kind of, I, I don't really have a, either way, it's up to you if you want this one, but like for, there's just things that they get on my nerves, as you know, and um, here's just a couple of them from, from uh, Suzanne's book. I almost called her Aaron. Is there an Aaron Brockman? Oh, there's an Aaron Brockovich, isn't there? Anyway, page 34. This is right in front of this, this one woman. You must be the one and only Murphy, which makes you the one and only Angelina. Her smile broadened. I guess you've heard a lot about me too then. Page 35. Vin Murphy, Angelina Esparza. Hannah went through the formality. About time you two met. Hannah, on page 34, right in front of your face, they met. Maybe you missed it. But I guess people meet for the first time a few times in Suzanne's world. Here's another nugget of genius. Page 41. Gilligan's little sister, Eden, came into the bug looking for him. Gilligan's real name is Gilman. Gilligan's his nickname. The bug is a, is a bar. Okay, so this is during a conversation that a guy is having with a woman, and he tells her Gilligan's little sister, Eden, came into the bug looking for him. Looking for Gilligan. Next page. Oh, yeah. Here's a recipe for disaster. She's Gilman's sister. You mean one page didn't, like, make her not Gilman's sister? You mean not much has changed since the last time we spoke? This is the same conversation. Now, there's this Hannah Whitfield. I may have, maybe I got this wrong. I'm not so sure. But, um... She's hearing impaired. Now, at the beginning of the book, she's having hot sex with this guy. And they're talking and stuff. And maybe I got the years wrong, but she, she's, she's, there's no sign or there's no, nothing in here to tell me that she's hearing impaired. My neck hurts. So is my back. Oh, anyway, well, that was a good crack. Did you hear that? I don't know if I picked up on my mic. Anyway. Um, there's no mention of her being hearing impaired. Like later on in the book, on page 69, she has to read lips and this, that, and the other. So, I don't know. I, I just it didn't really... Anyway, what happens in this book is it starts out, it's like three separate stories. And I get to page, I get to page 75. Only two of the stories intertwine by page 75. The other one's just hanging out there. There's this thing about this there's sections in the book about this firm, this private security firm, that I just don't quite follow. Now, in Suzanne's defense, this, is, this book is part, I didn't know it. I, I, I stay away from books that are part of a series, and um, I really didn't know that at the time. And maybe she takes for granted that you have read the other parts of the series, and, and which is fine, I, mean, I totally understand that. So maybe I'm just not catching on because of that, because of my um, ignorance. But um, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Uh, I, was, I was intrigued about this character, Angelina. She was shot and killed. And, um, but that was revealed on page 70. But th the thing is this, though. It wasn't revealed on page 70 in a... You know, it wasn't revealed in a way like... It wasn't thrilling at all. It was just like, oh, by the way, you know, she got shot here and there. Once again, this may have happened in a previous book. I don't know that. But all I know is in this book, it just kind of sucks. Uh, not that she was shot, but the, in fact, the way she was shot. It's just kind of like, oh, well, by the way. Um, that's about it. I don't really have much to say about it. It's kind of nondescript. I, I, either way, it could have gone. But, I mean, it wasn't good. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but if you're... If you've read this series, and of course you have to, you know, keep going with it, but um, I really don't know what to say either way. I do know, like I said, there's three separate stories, and two of them seem to cross. Uh, the other one just seems to kind of dangle. And I don't know. She can. I mean, she can. She's a good writer in, in the sense that 
you know, this isn't a train wreck like that Lisa Jackson, but um, she can write. But is this story crafted in a way like, you know, am I wowed by it? Not, not in the least, but I can't down it. I'm certainly not going to clap for it, but I am certainly also not going to stomp on it like I usually do. But um, I'm just kind of indifferent about it, I guess, if indifference is the proper word to use. It's up to you. Thank you for watching. I'm off my sabbatical, back in action. Lucky you. And um, I've got some new moves. Actually, I don't. I think I just pulled a hip muscle. And uh, yeah. And um, yeah, I'll be seeing. Thank you for watching. Email me with requests. And a lot of people like to bitch at me, so of course, send them in. I can't wait. Uh, look forward to that, actually. It's like every. Every morning's Christmas morning when you're Roman Griffin. Uh, just dying to unwrap the latest insult. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.